Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Irongo Talk. I hope you had a lovely and a safe weekend. My name is Leandre Allo and I'll be your host for today. Now today we join you from a very cold Wolfish Bay, particularly from the Wolfish Bay Meersig Park. Now in our program for today I'm going to bring you the latest news, the weather and tides. Our interview for today is going to be with five people who collaborated to feed over 300 kids in Tutaleni. Now, please make sure you check that out as well. Now, you also need to be on the lookout for a question that's going to pop up during our live show. Now, this question is going to ask, um, ask you something pertaining to our show and you need to answer it and you can win um, your share of a, a $1,000 Namibian dollars um, in accommodation vouchers um, courtesy of the Namibia Tourism Expo. Now this competition is going to run from today up until the 7th of November and uh, the only way you can win is if you answer a question while we are live. So just look at look at the screen for the question that pops up and make sure you answer it correctly. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. And another thing where today we are celebrating Salami Day. So <laughs> it was quite a loadful, so don't worry. We'll be right back after this. Okay, now it's time for your news. Now, the Council of Awavish Bay Urban Constituency, Knowledge Ipinge, says that he will institute legal action against the municipality of Awavish Bay if the organization does not account for what he termed missing millions under the massive urban land servicing initiative. Now, he said, and I quote, um, $213 million million was paid by the municipality to contractors to build houses for applicants with whom the municipality signed deeds of sale. Now Ervin valued at 24 million Namibian dollars have been registered in the homeowners names however these monies never reached the municipality's bank account and as a result doesn't reflect on the audited financial statements presented to us. Now the municipality's chief executive officer uh, Muronga Ngura is in the process said they are in the process of reconciling funds in their bank account. Now he confirmed that there is money in the municipality's bank account which has not been accounted for saying that the registration of properties of the initiative is facilitated by conveyances. Now he said and I quote once a property is registered at the deeds office a conveyancer will simultaneously inform the bank and the municipality by providing property details as stated at the deeds office. Now thereafter the bank upon receipt of this confirmation will transfer money to the municipality. Now this is how we recover money that we initially that we initially paid to the contractors. Now according to Aingura what has happened lately is that banks directly transfer funds to the municipality. Now in some instances the bank will pay the money to the lawyers. Now the lawyers in turn will pay the municipality and through this process one could experience a delay. Now in Kura added when that when the bank pays money into the municipal account there is no reference number to or reference to an ERF number. Now we then place that money into a suspense account because we do not know what these funds are for, he said. Now he said the municipality was in the process of, um, process of approaching the various banks to determine to which um, funds or to which properties these funds belong to. Now he said that he can confirm that they have money that is not accounted for. We cannot tell which property these funds refer to. However, we definitely have more than the 24 million a million dollars which is allegedly missing. Now, um, Hangura said that since 2016, incomplete properties in Wolfish Bay remain for this particular project, adding that the municipality's financial year starts on 1 July and ends on 30 June each year. Now, he said, and I quote again, the allegation stating that the 24 million a million dollars um, is missing is out in the public. It's, on, it's been on social media. That being said, I have come across very smart and knowledgeable law enforcement officers in Wolfish Bay. If there are any criminal activities relating to this issue, they will pick it up. If there is anyone who has misused, misused or abused funds, further actions um, can be taken. Now, Ipinge challenged Muronga 
to keep his word to provide feedback to the residents by Monday, which is today, for the first set of ERF numbers using an acceptable um, reporting framework. Otherwise, he should get ready for criminal charges to be laid against him, Ipinge said. Now, um, in another story... COVID facilities with a difference. Now, social media was a buzz this week after members of the public compared the cost of a 40-bed isolation facility, um, which was um, $1.9 million, um, constructed by Valvicha Hospital, to that of a 24-bed facility, which, were, um, which cost $12 million, million dollars, built by the Ministry of Health and Social Services. Now, in a statement released by the Executive Director of the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Mr. Ben Angombe, he said the facilities cannot be compared. Now, a cursory look at the two facilities will so show that the technologies used in the construction of one facility and the erection of the other are not comparable. While one is a durable structure with a minimum lifespan of a generation, the other is a tent. Any comparison between the two units is simply not tenable, Nangome said. Now, he emphasized that one of the focus areas of the ministry's response to COVID-19 is the provision of isolation facilities. Now, fully fitted to, fully fitted to cater to intensive and high care for COVID-19 patients. Now, and I quote, he said, given the imperative of expedited action, the ministry chose to utilize the proven technology of chroma deck panels that are durable yet versatile. Similar structures have been constructed to serve as isolation facilities in preparation for notifiable infectious diseases such as Crimean Goga, Congo, um, um, <laughs> hemorrhagic fever, anthrax and Ebola. The same technology has been employed, deployed in the construction of facilities for community-based IRT in different um, uh, parts of the country. Now, um, Konam Gombe said that the isolation unit is not limited to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is a long-term um, long infrastructure investment for the Ministry of Health and Social Services to manage all infectious diseases that arise from time to time, such as crimean, crimean fever, cholera, etc. By any objective measure, the resources have been put to good use. Now, he explained that uh, he explained um, the various technology used inside the um, facility. He also explained the different materials that was used to build the facility. And he said that the building has a minimum lifespan of 20 years. Now, the, the material composition of the entire structure does not decay. And anyone who lives in Wolfish Bay knows that our weather is so unpredictable. So they chose um, material that will... Um, withstand the weather. Now, the Valvicha Hospital said that its 40-bed isolation facility is only temporary and that it is open to both state and private patients. Now, since the facility is only temporary, only a fraction of the costs incurred are fixed and some of the equipment inside the facility are rentals. That's why um, it's only $1.9 million. Now, the facility will be operational as long as COVID-19 is around. The Wolfish Bay community really pitched in when their assistance was required. It is truly a community project, Estelle Ackerman, the hospital's human resources manager, said. Now, the facility is housed in a tent and boasts with an administration block, donning and doffing stations for the staff on duty, a nurse's station in the middle of the facility, as well as a small area inside where patients can stretch their legs. Now, an additional 16 staff members were also recruited on a six-month contract to assist in the facility. Now, in some crime-related news, two Namibian males were arrested after they allegedly raped a 30-year-old woman. Now, according to Deputy Commissioner Rasta Sikuyo, the victim's boyfriend, 30 years old, allegedly invited his cousin, 28 years old, to join him in having sex with his girlfriend. They arrived home from partying and the victim went to sleep. She woke up when the younger suspect was on top of her while the boyfriend was watching. When she started screaming, the second suspect fled. Now, when the victim confronted the boyfriend, saying she would report him, allegedly threatened to kill her with a spear. Now, she sustained an open wound when the boyfriend allegedly threw the spear at her and hit her below her right buttock. Now, both suspects were arrested and will appear at the magistrate's court um, today. Now, the police is investigating another case of rape and assault um, reported at the Namam 
Naman Post Farm area in Usakos. Now the suspect, 53 years old, allegedly went out to collect firewood with two girls aged 7 and 8 years old and allegedly sexually assaulted them on 18 July 2020. Now he was charged with rape, assault, assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm and attempting to defeat the cause of justice. Now uh, another investigations are also ongoing to find the person who dumped a fetus at the Wavish Bay dumping site. Now the fetus as Estimated between six and seven months was, was discovered on Tuesday wrapped in newspapers and plastic um, and placed in a plastic bag. A member of the public made the gruesome discovery and informed the police. Now um, the police were quite busy this weekend as well where they made um, uh, drug, bust as well, drug busts as well. But you can check out our website at www.irongo.com.na That's www.irongo.com.na for this and so much more. Tania and Jelle run a soap combine in Tutalini. But you are so big fun in the soap combine. I'm going to go to the i to the and is it Jaka Saturday with you? Yes, it's Jaka Saturday. My mom makes soap for the ice. My mom is doing it for the My mom is making it for my mom. She's making soap for my mom. And I'm happy after the birthday that the Rotary Club is also a sponsor. I think it's also a Rotary Club for six years. I'm super my mom. I'm also a big fan of the Rotary Club. Wow! But I'm very happy to have the initiative of the Rotary Club. Yeah. And then, um, the pandemic, want to know the COVID nie, and the pandemic, that you know, since I've had op you know, operations, maybe so come by, so funny. Um, exactly, it's gonna be a setback. Yeah, that's a little affected my equitania of the very police as a hand by me to Taleni and that many policemen who that the deal and also that we say, my also lift of free kinders and Oscar is seen that all that of our early pandemic, uh, sonar of course, but said in Oswald is indeed that it's 
so zwaar as waar mense werke verloor en uh, mense wat geretrens word en mense se bykats wat gedoen is, kan ons nie sien dat die kinders rechte waar, sonder dat saterdag abortie het, so ons het die soms wat nie initiatief en om die stil kon eraan hoog die, nou met al wat en ons haat op om nou toch, eventually ons het permission gekry van, van die police staan sê af, ja, yeah. en uh, die kinders word toch net meer en meer en meer mm. en dit is wat ons haat nog blij maak om nog meer kinders te sien en net seker te maak dat allemaal wat hier kom, gaan met abortie kos hier. Hey man. Ek moet net saam stem, uh, ons het een bykie hier en weer rol gerei mm. en uh, die polis in en die polis staan sê uit, maar eventually omdat ons gerag hier die kinders op ons wil gee, ons vir die polis staan, vir die polis, vir die um, warmt of ons wil, yeah. ons wil voortgaan, ons yeah. wil dit kan nie, ons weet in die hele tyd, um, as daar mense wat baie werk verloor het, as mm. ouders wat nie kan kracht bekostig nie, jy weet, um, hy is goed afgevat en, en het is een crash mens oor al, yeah. en ons het gedaan, ons wil nie gesit by hen, ons gaan voor, het, en, um, ons gaan dit wat doet, alleen nie, polis as ook baie dan, ons yeah. weet nog waar vir die gouwe het, um, dat ons hier sit by gevat het, ons gee nog steeds, ons, uh, ons gaan nog steeds aan ons omhoog huis, en ons het nog nooit opgehaal, en ons geef nog gesê dat, het raak net meer, en yeah. ons het meer en meer raak, voorsien die jaren ook net meer, en yeah. So, ja, dit is so lekker om so positieve story in hierdie tyd in te kry. So, en het gaan vir my, um, kan nie meer, hoe kan die mense die publiek involved raak met jylle? Um, ek sal sê, ons sê altijd vir die mense, as hulle op die hulle, as ons ons nie gee, maar ons sê, dit wat jy kan gee, is, is hoog, is baie waardering. So, as jy sê, jy sal um, aardappels gee, of jy by hulle sê, wat soek jylle verdien, as jy sal sê, nee, maar koop my die, mm. en dan bring die mense so, die mense gee, het te waar, om, om, om iets op om gee, al ek om laat so my baie maase is af, so so geen geel, ja. wat, wat ek kan gee, is baie wat ja, ja, nie, ons wil graag met geel vir het nie, um, omdat ons uh, liefde het verkost maak, ja bring vir ons een kompel, of bring een achterpot sak, of enige iets wat ons moet maak jy sak, wat het is nie, meel en meel, maak jy sak, en enige iets wat jy kan bijdra, is meer as by haar kom, en dan jy het een Facebook page, hoe kan ons in contact kom met jy? Yes, ons het een Facebook page, ons het jy al nog Ja, en alle noemers, alle kontrolmen die staan naast ons, en jylle kan meer en meer gaan deel, en like the point. Daar is hy, baie dankie jylle toe. Ok, hoor, Fimi, hier is Imogen en Tao Rai from the Rotary Club Wolfish Bay. How are you guys this morning? We're good. Yes. Yes. So, just quickly please tell us, what are you guys doing here today in Tutalini? Um, we are at Tutalini High School, and we're busy feeding kids. It's a soup kitchen. And, um, and we've got a campaign here mm-hmm. to hand out masks yes. to the children. Yes, the cool one. Yeah, yes, I see it. Like yes. Um, yeah, so it's our soup kitchen. Our oh. Soup kitchen. oh, wow. Yeah. So this soup kitchen has been operational since forever. <laughs> uh, Tanya's soup kitchen has been running for quite some time. We've gotten on board with her mm-hmm. to um, support them. We, as Rotary, we got a funds from uh, district yes. to um, support our local community, which is an amount of $10,000. Wow. Uh, we are now supporting Tanya and another local community. Wow. We're certain amount here, uh, a weekly amount. Can you just please tell us who is the Rotary Club and what is the Rotary Club? Now you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rotary Club is a non governmental uh, organization that seeks uh, to uh, better the world that we live in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we believe by uh, doing something uh, we help everyone. Do something for someone today. And I know for a fact the Rotary Club has been around for a very long time now. Yes, it has been. Yes. I you think we're one of the oldest Rotary Clubs in... We're, we're not the oldest, yes. but we are one of the oldest ones in uh, Namibia. Uh, cool, cool. Yeah. So this is a recurring soup kitchen and you guys yes. cater for the um, the, 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 uh, the learners in the... Yes, in the, people, the kids in this area. Yes. It's mostly children that come. Um, we also have some adults that come. Yes. Uh, yes, and it's uh, every week on Saturday. Wow, and then how is the oh cool? Yeah. And then how is the COVID-19 pandemic affected the Rotary Club and its operations? Uh, you can see, I think in terms of uh, social distancing, you can see the challenge. Yes. Uh, because of, before, before COVID, it was all normal, mm-hmm. but now you have to make sure that 
uh, uh, people get uh, what they need, but also it will also uh, the necessary uh, choices. Let's say we've done it. And also, uh, we, we represent uh, a bigger club. Yes. And people donate to our club and yes. stuff like that. So, obviously, if there's a challenge with COVID-19, everyone given the to us, also do the so that's how the public can get involved. They can yes, sponsor. They can, yes, they can sponsor. We need uh, buckies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like the Tupperware in yes, the house. Yes, the, yes, yes. You know, the ice cream buckies. The, any, any such thing. And uh, all money donations. They so can contact us. We're on Facebook. The Rosary Club of Office Bay. Um, what else can we do? The buckies. The, and, and vegetables. And meat. Mm. So and it's the meat. basics. Yeah, and masks. And masks. Masks or sanitizer. Yeah. Because we sanitize the kids' hands when they come in. Uh, we make sure they have a mask on. Yeah. Cool. So, so at least if you get such donations, yes. those that come with us, you can yes. uh, exactly supply. Yes. You know, a special yeah. day, everyone is getting a mask. Yes. Wow. So no. we need many people to come in. And, and Assist. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. But because some kids actually pick up with no button. Yes. No button. You know, no sanitation. Nothing. nothing. Yes. And then we have to make sure that lots of kids should be able to come. Okay, cool. So definitely the public should get involved. Yes. Can the public um, help volunteer as well? Uh, yes, okay. Yes, we need all the hands. Yes. We've got lots of kids. We didn't have to go to the beginning. It was roughly 160. Okay. Yes. Every Saturday. Now it's getting to 200. Sure, so it's, it's climbing. It's climbing. Because I think people support that they have possibly at the beginning of lockdown mm. is running out. Yes. And so more and more kids are getting it. Oh, thank you, Imogen and Thank you. Okay, so with me here is Mr. Gareth Amos. Um, please just tell us about this awesome message on this mask that you guys are giving out here today. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, we looked at the situation. Um, um, well, I did just from a from a societal point of view. I noticed that we were getting a lot of people are anxious and yes. anxiety and they're losing their jobs and there's uncertainty and that also causes anger. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that. People are saying, don't wear a mask, do wear a mask, and, you know, so, um, and we've got a lot of negativity. Mm. No, definitely we do. So the idea of the mask is, you know, we wear the mask for ourselves, you know, and say, okay, you need to protect yourself, but at the same time, we're actually wearing it for the other person around us as well, you know, and that's where we came up with the concept, I love my life, and I love yours, mm -hmm. um, and because um, we've got to look after the community and raise our spirits. And we also wanted to just get the message of love out there. It's not just about the mask. Yes. Um, you know, we need to uplift. It's difficult times, you know. And this is about being together. Yeah. The community. And, and thinking about the person uh, next to you. Thinking about your brothers and your sisters. And so that's why we came up with the concept. And um, to fund these masks, we've spoken to a number of companies. So, and they've been so willing to um, assist. So what they've done is they actually pay for the mask, so they get a little bit of branding, but it's not about branding. Wow. And we're handing them out. So this week alone we're doing a thousand masks. Wow. And we're looking at that, doing that, you know, weekly, monthly, because we're getting great support from Yes. Businesses. So businesses out there, give us a shout. Um, we, we're doing this for the community. Um, so yeah, give us a shout and let's help each other and get the positive message out. Okay, and um, just one thing we want to say as well, um, the masks are, um, we could probably buy them cheaper if we bought them in South Africa and brought them in, but we used a local Walkers Bay company, and, Nice. you know, they, they make signs and things like that, and business is tough, yes. so we've used someone local, and they've been able to grab one or two more staff just for temporary, for the temporary production of the mask. It does take us much longer, but we're, we're supporting people, exactly. and uh, we just want to say thank you.
now for your weather and tides kicking off for the tides we had high tide this morning at six o'clock low tide at a quarter to 11 high tide will be again at quarter past six this evening and low tide will be at a quarter past um 12 tomorrow morning now wolfish bay sunrise was this morning at six minutes past seven sunset will be at six minutes to seven now this is more or less the same times for sunrise and sunset for all the towns in the rest of the region now for today, um, for Wolfish Bay, a maximum temperature of 19 degrees Celsius is expected with a west-northwesterly wind. Um, for tomorrow, a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. So it's quite cold. <laughs> now for Stockholm, a maximum temperature for today, 17 degrees Celsius with a west-northwesterly wind. For tomorrow, a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius. For Antis Bay, maximum for today, 17 degrees Celsius with a southwesterly wind. For tomorrow, a minimum of 15 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius. For Arandas, maximum temperature for today is a 32 degrees Celsius with a northwesterly wind. For tomorrow, minimum of 20 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 34 degrees Celsius. For Usakos, maximum for today, 36 degrees Celsius with the east southeasterly wind for tomorrow a minimum of 15 degrees celsius and a maximum of 36 degrees celsius for karibab maximum for today 34 degrees celsius with a northeasterly wind for tomorrow a minimum of 15 degrees celsius and a maximum of 33 degrees celsius and then finally for omaruru maximum temperature for today um, expected for today is 34 degrees celsius with the east northeasterly wind and then for tomorrow a minimum of 14 degrees celsius and a maximum of 33 degrees celsius and that's your weather and tides for today and tomorrow Unfortunately, that's it for today's episode of Irongo Talk. I hope you answered our pop-up question correctly so you can win um, one of those vouchers. Anyways, please check out our website at www.irongo.com.na. That's www.irongo.com.na for your latest news happening in and around the Irongo region. If you want to get in contact with us for advertisement opportunities or let us know what's happening in your town, send us new tips, send us videos at 011 7040. That's 011 7040. Now we'll be back again tomorrow. Otis Daniels will be presenting um, the latest news, the weather and tides, as well as Grumpy's fishing report from Swakop Munt. So you don't want to miss that one. So please take care of yourselves, sanitize your hands, wear your mask, um, um, practice social distancing. The only way we can get rid of COVID-19 is if, if we take care of each other and if we take care of ourselves. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!